This is the plaintiff, Stephen Townsend. He says he rented a room in the defendant's house, and let's just say things didn't work out too well while he lived there. The defendant barged into his room one day when he was with his girl. They got into a heated argument, and when she started swinging a baseball bat, the cops were called. Needless to say, he wanted to defuse the situation, so he left. When he returned, all of his stuff was gone. The defendant stole his belongings. And that's why he's here today, suing for the $2,000 he's owed. This is the defendant, Lakia Washington. She says the plaintiff never rented a room from her. He was there for other reasons. The guy was messing around with her cousin. Her cousin liked him, so she let him stay over sometimes. Turns out her cousin got pregnant. She discovered the plaintiff also had another girl on the side. They broke up. He left, and she thought that was that. Now the guy's claiming he lived there and she stole his stuff? Preposterous. Simply preposterous. She's accused of kicking a guy to the curb. All parties, please raise your right hands. Be seated, come to order, please. Nothing else have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Townsend, you are suing Ms. Washington for $2,000, a value of items that you say she has kept of yours and refuses to return and or repay you for. Let me hear it. What happened was I was actually responding to an ad I saw, you know, on Craigslist for an apartment. You know, I was looking for my own room to rent. You know, when I saw this ad, I responded to it. Do you happen to have the ad? I do not have the actual ad. Okay. You know, and then I responded to the ad and I got the room. From her? From Lakia. Okay. And my girlfriend, Dominique, was actually with me on the same day that I, you know, initially, you know, paid the first amount of rent. You know, when I'm living there for two months, third month comes and, you know, and then this event occurs. And how much rent were you paying? You had, you had lived there for three months? Correct. And you had paid 550 per month? On this last month, you didn't pay the full five? That's correct. Right, is it 500 or 550? 500. 500. And you had paid instead how much? Um, about 250 that month. Okay, and why didn't, you didn't have the money? I didn't have the money that month. So what happens short. on that day? Like I said, my girlfriend and I were in the room and Lakia and her friend, the other friend first came in to the room and asking me, you know, can I give them a few bucks, you know, to help out or whatever. So I'm like, uh, Help out what? As far as my rent goes, you know, to, I guess, push who's forward. Who's the other person who's doing that? The other person were supposedly Lakia's friends. You Who know, lived there? They did not live there. They were there at the time visiting. So they were asking for money on behalf of Lakia? Correct. Okay, go on. And I said, I didn't have it at the time. And they're like, oh, you know, well, if you can't pay now, then you can't have company. You know, your girlfriend has to leave. So she has to go now. So then I'm like, well, I'm not going to send her out there with you, you know, crazy girls. So you they know, say she has she, to go. And what do you guys do? And then she, we both leave. Okay. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go with my and girlfriend then what outside. Happens? I'm going to go outside and I'm going to walk her to where she has to go and then I'm going to come back. And then the key comes outside with a bat now. She's swinging the with bat. With a bat? With a baseball bat, judge, and swinging it at... My girlfriend, in her direction, but didn't actually Okay, hit you, her. then you have to be skipping some of the story. There has to be more to this than what I'm hearing. Absolutely not. What's I going wish on? There was Thank more, you. you know, so What's I going on? Okay. One, he was never renting a room for me. That's one. He no. Well, he's according to him. He lived there for three months. He was not staying there in the room. He was staying there because the simple fact is he met my cousin. I do services where I help people out with sexual, you know, like oral sex and comic. Wait, wait. wait. Yeah. <laughs> slow your roll. Slow your roll. You do services, you help yes. people out with what? Oral sex and, you know, like couples, relationships, like, you know, people who have problems in bed. You do what? <laughs> I show them positions, I show them tricks, and, you know. You're an oral sex teacher? Oral sex, it's like just sex period, but my specialty is oral sex. My other friend, her specialty is, you know, other things. But she's not here today to defend herself, so we're not going to bring that up. Okay. <laughs> You're doing this from where? From that apartment? No. I'm not doing it from my apartment. See, how I met him, I met him through my little cousin. Okay? Now, that night, when we first, well, when the altercation happened, we didn't know he had a girlfriend. My little cousin did not know she had, that he had a girlfriend. My little cousin was, at the time, six months pregnant. She was accusing Mr. Thompson of being the father. Wait, wait, wait. See, it's wait, a lie. Wait, wait, stop, stop. 
He doesn't live there, but he's, he's stays, the father no, no, of no, somebody no. who does. He he's stays, the father of the baby of somebody who does. No, live I allowed there. him to stay there because he lost his job because he was sleeping on the job at being a security guard. He fell asleep, and that's how he lost so his he job. So he was staying there, but he wasn't paying rent. No, he was paying me money for my services. I don't know what you mean by that. He was paying you money so that you could give him oral sex? <laughs> no, not give him oral sex, no. Okay, teach him I, like, how to give I, somebody else oral sex? Yeah, females, males. Like, I'm a... <laughs> what was he paying you for? He Who was, was he having you teach? What would my you... little cousin. Because she's younger. He, he paid like you. Girls. How old's your little cousin? She's 20. So he paid you so you could teach your little cousin how to, how to no, give oral how sex? No, he can give my cousin oral sex. I'm bisexual. So he paid you, do it again. He so paid he you. Can teach, <laughs> he paid you so that. He can you, teach my cousin how to give oral sex because, all right, one, I never wanted to do business with him because it's some. No, you need this. to slow down. He I paid you, that. stop. Okay. He paid you so that who could teach your cousin? So that I can teach my cousin, not sh they do it, perform it on her, but you know, we use fruits and toys. So he paid you yes. for you to teach your own cousin. That's not my black cousin. <laughs> and how much did he pay you for that? He, he was paying me 500. 500 a what? He was paying me 500 a month. Do you live in government housing by any chance? Yes. Oh, so either you're subletting to somebody which you don't have the authority to do because you're claiming that you don't have the money to rent your own place and all of the rest of us have to help pay your rent or you're running a brothel from a government subsidized no, apartment. It can only be one or the other. The cops was called to my house that night three times. So he's paying you $500 a month. I charge more than you, that. For you to teach your own cousin and he's staying there but Lord knows it's not for rent. He was but he's staying there see, it's not because like he's you, busy it's knocking not like up your you, cousin. No, it's not like what you think. It's like not like he's living there. He had mail coming in. He had a lot of clothes there. He was just there like, okay. She was like, oh. Did he have mail coming there? No. Miss Washington, what is it you thought was going to happen when you came here today and told me this? Oh. Because it's either your way, which is really juicy and crazy and awful, and it shouldn't be happening in government subsidized housing, Never mind regular, I mean, you kind of have to have a business license to do it, all right? Or it's his way and you kicked him out without evicting him, which no, is what you're supposed to do. question, what's wrong with teaching people how to give oral sex? Everybody needs helps in bed. So I don't really see that as a problem because I'm not a prostitute. So the way you're making it seem is like I'm a prostitute. I don't go down on men. I don't go down on female. I just know what just I know. Just fruit. I, yeah. <laughs> Fruits and toys. Fruits and toys. A lot of toys, yes. Stand on up, girlfriend. What's your name? Dominique. Dominique, what's your last name? You Messine. Don't... All right, Ms. Messine, um, what's going on here? That's, that's all a lie that she just told you. Um, the night that we came over, I heard arguments in the, in, in the background hallway. So then, um, while we talking about it, I guess they overheard us talking. They came knock on the door. We didn't answer, they, so they budged in. And um, she was like, if you can have company over, you, got, you can ask your company to pay your rent. So I got offended because I had nothing to do with this. Why are you asking me for money? So I opened my mouth, and when I opened my mouth, it got bigger. Like, all three of the girls started jumping at me, talking, and then they started flinging things off his dresser and telling me to get out, get out now. And then after that, I seen Lakia go back in her room and come back out with a bat. Now she's in the, my face with the bat. Telling me she's going to hit me with the bat. So now I call the cops because I feel threatened. So when I finished calling the cops, she and the girl walks out the room and just talking a whole bunch of crap in the hallway. And he decides to, he, says, he tells me to leave. So we take our stuff and we leave. Is she giving oral sex lessons? No. Have she you ever heard any? Out, she just ran out of rooms in her apartment. I, 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 I've never, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. See, look, I just said, or what is it you're suing for? You're suing because when you came back in and with the police, and that was shortly thereafter, According to you, $2,000 worth of stuff is gone? Three times. Yes, a lot of my stuff, actually. But I really had a lot of ties, nice ties. I really wanted back my stuff, and then, you know, this whole thing happened. But what happened? I, you go back in with the police. This is how long after you walked out? Wait, my girlfriend called the cops, and then, you know, cops finally get there. An hour, two hours, 20 five minutes, minutes? Maybe 25. 25 minutes. And you walk back in, and what do you see? 
it looks like a girl's room. It looks, it's not the room that I was just sleeping in. You know, there's boots and there's panties and there's stuff. And then it's like, uh, where's my clothes? You know, my clothes is gone and everything's gone. I'm looking at my drawers, my, you know, with my stuff. Were you able to take any of your stuff? Whatever was in the room at the what time. What was it? There was, well, the mattress that I was sleeping on, there was a, a air mattress, so I folded it up, I had that. You know, a couple bags of clothes, and TV. what I have? The TV, the chair. And I had a small TV, and I had so a what was DVD player, but I had a bracelet in the drawer, and I had a pair of jeans, brand new jeans, expensive jeans, you know, and a whole bag of ties, like I said. Do you have a list? Do you have a receipts? Do you have, what do you have to prove I up your case? I wish I had receipts. Well, you this, gotta have something, because you gotta prove up your case. You can't just pick the list of the things that I wrote sky. down that I know for sure are missing. You know, and I really wanted to Did you have another place back. as well as this place? No, I didn't. Is it? You just kind of wrote everything on a piece of paper. The officers said make a list, and I didn't. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, you know, how, how are you gonna prove up that all this, you know, yeah. uh, Louis Vuitton sunglasses, $400, you yeah. know, I mean, I mean, you I take this man's was, stuff because you I felt you could because he didn't pay your rent? No. Oh, well, I'm going to take, okay, he said he got his TV that night. Why would I take boys' shirts and ties when I could have taken the television? You, you do think like a criminal. I mean, <laughs> but she makes a good point. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So is this woman allowed to teach people how to perform oral sex in a government housing project? No. Why? I don't think she should be allowed to teach anything. Because? Because <laughs> it's, it's not our house. Well, it's her apartment. I mean, is she allowed to do it? Absolutely. Why, why not? Free b <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, she's definitely, they're paying her. I mean, she's, I think that she should be allowed to do anything in a house that she lives in. People give, like- But she's running a business in the house. Totally. People are running tons of businesses in the projects. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let you know. In There's a ton of them. <laughs> and it's her house. If people are seeking it, she should be able to. She should be able to give it. Well, the problem is some people no aren't seeking it. No. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. Do you have a single receipt for anything? I wish, Judge. How many? He has ha two receipts. Ha ha Go ahead. What? He has two receipts, and Can the reason. Not now. He yeah. didn't bring it. I told him to bring it. Okay. But the reason but you why you understand she, what the problem is, yes. right? Yes. The reason why she re the reason why she re rearranged his room is to show that he was sleeping with her so called cousin. You know, I I kind of. I kind of have a suspicion that there was something that went on there. Um, and, um, so, okay, she was there every night. Where was she the night that my girlfriend, my other homegirl, shaved his chest in my bathroom? He had fun with a lot of girls in my crib. Let me tell you the only thing I know. Mm -hmm. I know you were renting that place to him. That's the only thing I yeah, know. Okay. I don't yes, have a was. doubt about that. I was what I don't there. know is what, if anything, was taken. Uh, his That's what I, what I can't know because you don't yeah. bring me the receipts. Any receipts. evidence. That's the part I need. I need something. I understand, Judge. All right, guys. I'm not hearing enough proof to be able to rule in your favor. Oh, I do, however, no. I can tell you, for what it's worth, that I know you were renting that place. Um, and that you weren't paying $515 a month, however good you think you are, for <laughs> lessons for anything. <laughs> um, but I, I can't just pull figures out of the sky. It's not what I do for a living, especially if you had receipts and didn't bring them in. All right. Um, goodbye, folks. Well, in the absence of any receipts or other evidence, it's, it's impossible for the judge to uh, rule in your favor. What's your reaction to this outcome? I mean, that's crazy, you know, but I do understand that, you know, I'm going to need to prove my claim, you know, but... I was absolutely renting the place, and I don't think I should have been doing that. I didn't know that the stub, you know, renting from the housing project was not supposed to be done, but mm -hmm. I was renting, and I lost all my things, and I just wanted them back. Mm -hmm. Is it true, any truth to what she's saying, that she was teaching? <laughs> absolutely not. How come you're laughing? Because it's funny, so yeah, I'm not going to take it serious. Okay. All right. Around the corner there, and documents wait for you there, okay? Good luck, all right? All right, step on in here. Uh, what's, your, what's your reaction to this outcome? Um, I'm just glad that the judge ruled in my favor, because. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't really believe the I know she didn't story. believe the, the story, but he still didn't get $2,000 from me. Mm -hmm. So, I'm happy. Harvey? 
Okay, simple. If you get an apartment, you need to demand a lease. If for some reason they won't give you a lease, put the terms you believe you're agreeing to in an email so that the other person, the other party, at least is on notice of what your expectation is. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.